sound bridge. And wow, that was an amazing presentation. And where? Just like, we got to drink together. Um, we uh, make music technology. We don't save people money who are in mass amounts of debt or do facial recognition, but we do work in a multi, uh, potential multi-billion dollar uh, consumer industry. Uh, music production, I don't know if you are aware, but it's one of the fastest growing art forms, contemporary art forms. Um, a lot of reason for its growth is because music is water. Uh, who doesn't like music in here? <laughs> um, <laughs> music is, uh, there's all kinds of psychological studies for why human, humans need music in their everyday existence. Um, there's plenty of studies that say if we were deprived of music, it would make us go crazy. And how many people have ever had a rock star fantasy? Who ever saw a musician out there and was like, I want to be that guy? Exactly, yeah. <laughs> so Facebook told us there's about 3.7 billion of these people, and there's about 4.4 million uh, targeted Google searches. Thanks for audio engineering, mixing, mastering. Um, and I'm a music fanatic, that's all I know, and we're here to empower the next generation of audio professionals. And as you can tell by our logo, it is suddenly flicking off the entire industry and academia because they are based on traditional outdated models. My biggest uh, influencers as an entrepreneur uh, consists of Travis from Uber, uh, Ben from MailChimp, and uh, Gary from VaynerMedia. And uh, we don't give a fuck. So. <laughs> Uh, we're currently experiencing quadruple month to month growth. Um, we've been we've had music industry reviews in all these major publications. Uh, that video we just launched today already has it's already been seen by several thousand people and already has a view to download rate of five percent. Um, other than our business model, which I'll get into later, we have innovated on music technology in a variety of ways. Uh, one of the reasons is that uh, traditionally our competitors, such as Pro Tools, Ableton, etc. Uh, we're designed for brick and mortar uh, enterprise clients such as the Warner Brother Records and NBC, uh, Universal Records, people that have a motion, uh, major motion pictures department, and also a record label that needs a soundtrack for the major motion picture. So they're like these one stop shops that contain a ton of low level functionality. You have all these celebrity audio engineers that think they know what's best, but can they hear that? I don't know. There's a lot of hearsay, but they dramatically increase the learning curve of these technologies. And what we did is we've been validated by all these publications is bring that learning curve down 24 hours. I mean 24 hours, that means you can learn every parameter in our system, and not only that, you can make your first song within 24 hours. We've connected it to the cloud. Uh, we take advantage of all the latest in browser recording, mobile and desktop environments. Um, anything uh, that you can do in our desktop app, you can also do on mobile devices, such as the Microsoft Surface, which you, by the way. Um, we look at the browser and cloud technology as kind of an extension. There's been a lot of folks out there. Peter Starkey, the CFO and uh, coup of Spotify, just recently invested $6.5 million in one of our competitors called Soundtrap. They're trying to do everything we do in the browser, and they cannot do what we're going to do in the browser. How many people have ever experienced server cost? It's very expensive to run an AMD 2 gigabyte computer on a server, right? <laughs> exactly. So, we're, so the desktop software is probably going to be around for the next one to 30 years unless Google comes out and makes Google Fiber obsolete and you can get i7 processing with 32 gigabytes of RAM uh, server that's a reasonable price. So what we've done is we uh, created desktop software, we distributed it similar to Adobe's Creative Cloud, which you just download it and your monthly subscription activates it. Um, right now we're just focused on growth and we're giving it all for free because we're crazy. But the browser, um, in browser is really cool because you can send a private URL link, similar to like a Dropbox account, and you can record any musician in the world directly through Google Chrome. They don't have to download any technology, they don't have to download any software, it's just a simple recorder, and you're able to receive that back. We got rid of all need for email and Dropbox. Musicians are collaborating over the internet um, in a multitude of ways. And, uh, they're using a lot of variety of applications. So what we've done is we've taken all these applications, 
and we uh, have centralized them uh, into our system. So we facilitate all native data transfer and communication amongst a number of musicians collaborating on a project. Not only that, we are disrupting Berkeley education by providing an entire degree for free online in the form of a micro web series. Uh, written by internationally acclaimed Psytrance producers, people that re regularly hit the uh, top 10 and the fourth Psytrance charts. We work with international photographers, videographers. How do I find all these people? Because I've been in the music industry my entire life and I can get with them. Um, this is our desktop environment. I can show a demo over here. Um, I mean, bless you, really are interested in learning the uh, music technology. Uh, you can think, you know, really grasp what I'm talking about. But, um, Essentially, we do it easier, faster, mobile, more collaborative uh, from your initial idea through Final Master. And that's been tested um, amongst a ton of professional musicians um, that have used our software and literally come back to us and said, Listen to this music. I did this in half the time that it would take me in Pro Tools, Ableton, etc. Also, the in browser environment, as I said before, allows you to record any musician in the world without having them download a bunch of complicated technology. This recorder is as simple as your uh, voice recorder on your iPhone, and they plug in and it gets their professional bit rates and sample and uh, bit, bit depths and sample rates. Um, it also facilitates all communication. We can collect a database of people and you guys connect through private email, so it's very secure. So if you're worried about your intellectual property, it's all right because you can't collaborate with anyone you don't know. I can't do a quick demo because it's not on this computer. But I'm, I'm over there, I'm doing demos over here. All the music you've heard tonight has been made by users using our product. Uh, we work with all these per professional peripherals over there. You go to any guitar center, get any MIDI controller, any sound card. We support the entire open standard. We also support the entire virtual studio technology standard. Uh, and so there's thousands of publishers that our application supports. And we did all this in about 2.5 months. Um, the current software that we have, that we're giving away for free right now, only took us 22 months to get to market. Um, and we just, everything you see on that banner was created in less than six months, and we're going to get it out in the form of beta next month. Um, and we're just trying to grow and empower the next generation of audio professionals, and, you know, by bringing down that cost, bringing down the need to uh, have to, you know, go to Berkeley. I mean, everyone that I work with never went to school. Um, they're doing pretty well. <laughs> and uh, and uh, I was hated by my teachers, and um, that's why uh, you know we make such beautiful stuff. And this is just a big F you that everyone said is going to suck. No, <laughs> no it, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. So anyway, here's our differentiation. This is how we line up to all the um, all the competitors in the industry. Uh, recording software, Max said, said it was a very simple program to use. Post magazine said it as well. Um, I am Sandwich. I run all this out of my apartment in Brighton. Any questions? Charge money for that. 
So by being very disruptive, uh, reducing all that lower level functionality, limiting ourselves to mobile devices, uh, we, caught, we brought that barrier down. And so all of that you see, $9 a month. Uh, Yes, sir. Do you integrate with any publishing platforms like SoundCloud or social media? I mean, Ableton does. I mean, we're on the music making side of things. Um, you don't see a lot of Ableton on SoundCloud. It's not really a mutual benefit. I mean, it, it takes two seconds to export your song and just drag and drop it into the browser. I mean, I don't think it's really an innovation to speed up that process. I think it's more interesting of an innovation to uh, do like, for example, what, what we've taken from SoundCloud is this, you know timestamp com uh, time commenting? How you can put a, a timestamp anywhere on the waveform? We did that for our automation video and audio blocks. That's how you communicate in the entire system. So instead of saying at seven seconds on track, guitar, there's an issue, you can just say, there's the issue, you see the avatar you're rolling mouse over, and the comment pops up and you it. So we've actually taken things from SoundCloud, but we don't plan on integrating because it's just too easy to upload your music. Anything else? Yeah.